so uh, going now to, to your role as, as dean and professor, um, do you see apologetics playing a, a, a greater role today uh, than maybe when you first started? Or is it, is it less? Is it different questions? What, what are you seeing some of the, the struggles mm-hmm. or questions or focuses that, um, that your students are bringing into or reporting back to you? Yeah, well, obviously, apologetics, we always do apologetics in all our classes. Uh, we actually have a class on apologetics for biblical study students, seminary students actually take a class on apologetics. But uh, obviously, apologetic issues come up in every class. What, what's, what's different today, I would say that uh, we have a lot more students that don't know the Bible. Um, for example, if an uh, introductory Bible course, if I ask how many of you have read the whole Bible in your lifetime, very few will say that they have. Uh, if I ask, uh, okay, from zero to 10, what's your knowledge of the Bible? I had uh, the whole spectrum from zero to, to 10. So there's a lot more biblical, uh, biblical illiteracy, um, which is interesting because we have much more information, but then we, we know less because we read less. We, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's why I, I prefer my classes to have still uh, paper copies of books. Uh, I want them to actually have the book in hand, although our technology, technological advances dictate that we go more to even electronic copies. I, I just don't like that. So I would, I would rather use an older book rather than a newer book if I know that the student has, has it in their hands. Um, so there's a lot more biblical uh, illiteracy. Um, uh, I, I think a lot of people are, are abandoning the idea that there is such thing as objective, absolute truth. So in our classes, we have to uh, ingrain in them and to teach them, hey, the Bible is the word of God without error. And there is absolute objective truth. God is the moral lawgiver, and he's giving us uh, laws we need, we know how to live our lives. Um, So I don't think we have changed uh, and what we do has changed. We just have to be a little more emphatic into realizing, hey, our students that are coming in now are not really, um, you know, they didn't, they didn't grow up in the church. They don't, they don't know the stories. Uh, even they don't know, some don't know, you know, David and Goliath, you know, they don't know that story. They, mm. So it's, <clears throat> uh, to comment grace is still good because they, they do get a class in exploring the Bible and they get a class in scripture and interpretation, which is basically hermeneutics class. And then they take a class, essential doctrinal themes. And then I teach a class, Christianity and critical thinking, which is a philosophy class uh, with, uh, again, from a Christian perspective, we learn critical thinking, but like the Bereans, like you said, that we look in scripture and to see what the Bible says about these things. Uh, so uh, things have changed. Uh, we are a Christian institution, but uh, we, we still get students that are not believers. So I treat my classes as a mission field. Mm. I teach and preach the gospel all the time. I, give students a chance to uh, implore them to give their life to Christ. Um, uh, there are people who give their life to Christ. I had atheists in class. Uh, then after they graduated, they gave their life to Christ. Uh, there are atheists who come and leave and they're unchanged. Uh, but um, our role has not changed. Uh, my job is not to convince them. That is the role of the Holy Spirit. My job is to teach them what uh, the Bible says. So yeah, apologetics will always play a very, very important role. Yeah. I, I always say that, uh, we're the wire in between the source of the light and the light bulb as the, as the person I'm, I'm okay with being, being the, the guy that can, uh, uh, you know, uh, stumble on his words for the gospel, but it's, it's ultimately God who has the, uh, the hard job of, uh, forming the heart of stone into a heart, heart of flesh. I'm glad I don't have to <laughs> to do that job. Yeah, I like that. That's good. That's good. 